Hi guys, Gilliam Elliott here with an educational video about medical tourism. Today I'm going to go over the steps you need to take before facilitating your first medical travel client. The first thing you want to do is think about the size and the type of medical tourism agency you want to create. Now when I say size, I mean what's your end game? Um, is your goal just to make a side hustle? Do you want to have a mom and pop medical tourism agency? Are you looking to have a really big agency with multiple employees? What's your end game? What, what do you want your agency to be in the future and how big do you want it to be? Um, when I speak about what type of medical tourism agency you want to create, uh, I'm speaking about do you want to focus on a niche market in the medical tourism industry or do you want to facilitate patients with all sorts of procedures? Uh, maybe you just want to do dental tourism. Maybe that, that's going to be the niche that you focus on. What type of agency do you want to create? However, at the same time, I want to encourage you not to get stuck in the research phase. It's vital that you do market research before you start your medical tourism agency. But what's even more important is that after you do your research, you take action. So you need to lay the groundwork for your medical tourism startup before you facilitate trips for any patients. And what I mean by laying the groundwork is finding out the basic framework of your medical tourism startup. Things like what destinations you're going to target. Um, things like how many destinations you're going to target. I recommend that you target one to three destinations when you first start. Um, that way you don't spread yourself thin. When you focus your efforts on one to three destinations, you can spend your time and resources branding your services to individuals interested in those destinations. And then once you get some clients, um, you can always expand to other countries. Just like I mentioned with the destinations, you only want to focus on one to three destinations. I would do the same thing with procedures you're going to provide. I would stick to one to three procedures that you provide to your clients. And for the same reason, you don't want to spread yourself thin. You don't want to offer a lot of different procedures. You really want to brand your service uh, with one to three procedures. And the reason I say stick to one to three procedures and one to three destinations is because, like I mentioned earlier, you don't want to spread yourself too thin. You don't want to be all over the place. You really want to focus on the least amount of procedures uh, at the beginning. And you also want to focus your effort on the least amount of destinations at the beginning. As I said, you can always expand to more procedures. You can always expand to more destinations as you grow, as you get more profit for your company and you're able to invest more uh, and market yourself more. Something else to keep in mind, many medical tourism destinations are already known for certain procedures. So make sure the destination you're promoting has a good reputation for the procedures that you're offering. Another step you want to take is learning industry best practices and common mistakes. You can avoid a lot of common pitfalls and mistakes by investing in a certification. Being a healthcare facilitator is a unique line of work and there are a lot of components to setting up a successful experience for clients. And you need to understand each step. If you're interested in obtaining an industry certification, I'm going to leave a link to our online training course below. Another action you need to take before taking on clients is creating a business plan. A business plan is going to help you put your vision into words. So you can put on here what destinations you're going to work with, how big you want your agency to be. It's really going to be a roadmap for your business. And it's also going to allow anyone who's interested in investing in the company to take a look at this document and get a clear understanding of what you're trying to achieve with the business. So this could be investors, this could be a future business partner. Any of these people can look at this document and clearly understand what you're trying to achieve and what your goals are for the future. The next thing you want to figure out is what business model you're going to use. And a business model simply means how you're going to make money for your company. Um, you know, how you're going to generate profits. Are you going to charge commissions? Are you going to do flat fees, medical tourism packages? How are you going to generate a profit for your company? So you need to figure out and define what business model you're going to use um, for your company. The next thing you want to do is set up your website and social media. And when I say website, I don't mean just putting a website online. Um, that's pretty simple to do. I really mean putting a website online that converts patients into paying clients, right? A website that makes patients want to respond when they land on it and make them want to give you their contact information so you can get a, a high volume of leads and high quality leads. And with social media, I mean just the major platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, patients are on these social platforms and it's a good way to, uh, to brand your company. The next thing you want to look at is making sure you have contracts for your company. Um, you don't want to facilitate trips for anyone until you have your medical tourism contracts in place. Um, you want to make sure you have an agreement in place with the patient as well as an agreement in place with the overseas healthcare provider. Um, you want to make sure everybody's being safe during this trip. Um, and your medical tourism contract is one way of making sure that everybody's safe and that everybody's on the same page and that everyone understands the agreed upon terms. And if you need medical tourism contracts, I'm going to leave a link below. 
Um, I have videos on medical tourism contracts, and we also provide pre-made medical tourism contracts that are specifically made for medical tourism facilitators. And the next thing you want to do is start creating a network of providers around the world or in the destination that you want to send patients to. You want to make sure that these overseas healthcare providers are licensed and accredited and make sure that they're leaders in their field and that they're experts at what they do. And having a good network of healthcare providers is really going to establish your company and really going to get you that brand that you're looking for and get you testimonials and get you referrals and really get your brand out there in a positive light. So make sure you have a network of good, solid healthcare providers that you're working with at all times and that you can send your patients to. Thank you for watching this short video. If you enjoyed these points and you're looking to launch your company with a professional certification, I'm going to leave my contact information below and I look forward to speaking to you guys soon. Thanks.